In late August 2022, more than 650 delegates and 2,000 other participants from all regions of the world gathered in Karlsruhe for the 11th Assembly of the World Council of Churches. The Assembly had been postponed for one year because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but not least because of the shift to virtual events during the pandemic, this was also the first WCC Assembly with such a high online presence from the Ecumenical Fellowship and from media. Meeting in Karlsruhe was also a reminder of the many links between the German churches and the worldwide ecumenical movement. In his greetings to the Assembly, German President Frank-Walter Steinmeier recalled how the German churches were welcomed as equals into the Ecumenical Fellowship at the WCC's founding assembly in 1948, after the Second World War and the time of National Socialism. After the horror that the German Reich unleashed on the world, after the war, after the systematic persecution and murder of Europe's Jews, after all these unspeakable crimes, this was not something that could be taken for granted, said Steinmeier, an active Protestant. The gathering in Karlsruhe was the third WCC assembly to take place in Europe. The first was the founding assembly in 1948. The second was in Uppsala in 1968, amid the war in Vietnam, the struggle for civil rights in the United States, protests around the world by youth and students, and just a month before the Soviet invasion of Czechoslovakia. Now, as delegates gathered in Karlsruhe, they faced the world still reeling from the COVID-19 pandemic, a pandemic that exacerbated existing inequalities, and a world facing ecological crisis, systemic poverty, racism, gender-based violence, and human rights violations. In their message, delegates warned of the catastrophe arising directly from an irresponsible and broken relationship with creation, leading to ecological injustice and climate crisis. As the climate emergency accelerates, so does the suffering experienced by impoverished and marginalised people, they stated. And delegates were gathering on the continent from which two world wars had emanated and which was again disfigured by war following the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. In the weeks leading up to the assembly, WCC Acting General Secretary Father Johan Sauker travelled to Ukraine to show solidarity with the people there and to ensure that voices from Ukraine were present in Karlsruhe. In the end, there were 11 Ukrainians at the assembly representing the major churches and the National Council of Churches there. The assembly denounced the illegal and unjustifiable war in Ukraine, affirmed that war is incompatible with God's nature and will for humanity and against fundamental Christian and ecumenical principles. And they rejected any misuse of religious language and authority to justify armed aggression and hatred. Noting the presence of delegates from the Russian Orthodox Church, the Assembly committed itself to an intensified dialogue. For the issues raised by this conflict, they said, are indeed deep and fundamental, both for the ecumenical movement and for the wider world, and warrant intensive and sustained dialogue. Another region at the focus of concern was the Middle East. Again, in the weeks leading to the Assembly, the Acting General Secretary visited the churches in Lebanon and Syria, and then churches and Christians in Israel and Palestine, assuring them that the WCC continues to accompany them and advocate for and defend their dignity and human rights. The Assembly affirmed the rightful place of the State of Israel in the community of nations and recognised its legitimate security need. At the same time, it affirmed the right of the Palestinians for self-determination and declared that the Israeli occupation of the Palestinian territories since 1967, as well as the construction of settlements and expansion in the occupied territories is illegal under international law and must be ended. 
only through an end to the occupation and a just, comprehensive and lasting peace settlement can the security of both Palestinians and Israels be assured, the Assembly stated. But delegates were not of one mind on whether the policies and actions of Israel amount to apartheid under international law. Some churches and delegates strongly supported the use of the term as accurately describing the reality of the people in Palestine, Israel and the position under international law, while others found it inappropriate, unhelpful and painful. Delegates underlined the need to listen to voices often marginalised in the world. Women, youth, people with disabilities, indigenous peoples. But a statement signed by 38 youth members of the Assembly warned that youth felt underrepresented within many Assembly bodies, as well as the WCC Central Committee, despite youth often being at the forefront of action for climate justice, racial justice and on human sexuality, and being the ones proposing creative solutions. The Assembly affirmed and endorsed the statement and underlined the need for full youth involvement in all WCC bodies. The Assembly in Karlsruhe was an Assembly that wrestled with difficult, painful and divisive issues. In a unity statement inspired by the Assembly theme, Christ's love moves the world to reconciliation and unity, delegates referred to the profound challenges to our unity in these times. Some ecumenical conversations are difficult even to begin, they stated. Sometimes even those in communion with each other are, tragically, at war. Many voices call for an ecumenism that can provide the challenge, inspiration and courage that will move us to change. But in a world of separation, inequality and injustice, they continued, Christ calls his followers to witness to the unifying power of the love that is a gift of the Spirit. This provokes a strong challenge in the world and sounds a call to an alternative order, one moving towards unity and reconciliation of all humankind and of the whole creation.